Hello everyone, my name is Asmagon and welcome back to the channel, and um, we're just going to jump right into this, because you guys need to see this. Okay. I want you guys to look real closely at that. In fact, let me see if I can zoom in on here. This is a book. Now this book is not a book about how to become financially successful. This is not a book about the map to Shangri-La. This is not a holy book of purity that will lead you to alternate dimensions. And this is a goddamn tabletop rule book. And the only difference between this rule book and the normal variant is the price tag, honestly. Oh, sorry, um, the cover. This widely less interesting cover. Now, I'm sure this book has its bells and whistles. But is it going to fix my car if I'm going down the road and a tire pops off? Is it going to is going to turn into a tire and get me to get me to the nearest gas station or the auto shop? Is this book going going to sprout wings and take me to the Bahamas? What the A $210 book. Listen, when a video game is over 100 bucks, I'm already not sold on it. A hundred dollar video game. I, I listen. A lot of those hundred dollar video game collectors things at least come with. They come with an additional book to the video game. They usually come with a mi like a mini figurine or a little statue. There's something more to it that makes it worth that hundred dollars. You're you're getting the game, which everyone agrees a decent price for video uh, a triple A video game is sixty dollars. And then you add stuff to that to make it worth a collector's edition. A figurine? A rule book or a book about the uh, uh, about the video game behind the scenes? Maybe it's got signed by all the developer, uh, core developers? Something to make it worth over $100. Keep in mind though, most video game <laughs> collector's editions don't go over, I think, like, the most egregiously expensive one I've ever seen is 180 bucks, And that was, for me, a no-go. That, no, no way, son. <laughs> when something costs three times as much as the, as the base product, you've already lost me. You've already lost me. Because there's only so much you can add to a product to make it worth that extra bit. Now that's with a video game. Most video games have at least 30 to 40 hours of entertainment plus replayability. And if they're an online game, they have way more than that. They have thousands of hours worth of time to dote, uh, you know, dote on them. Now, 40k as a hobby as a whole, when it comes to painting the miniatures, playing the tabletop, it has endless hours of entertainment in terms of possibilities. However, they're not selling this with or as an add-on to the Indominus box, as far as I've seen. This is just the book itself. It's $210 US. That's 300 something Australian bucks. And I don't know what the variants are for every other currency, but that's the only, uh, the only two I've seen. In what dimension is a book, a, a rule book, worth three times as much as the base product? $210. It's base variant, 65 Now that's fine. 65 is, is fine for a brand new book, especially one you're going to use regularly. Which makes sense with a rule book. You're going to use it regularly. You're going to constantly reference the damn thing. $65. Fine. It's our, It's pretty damn close to what I consider the max amount I'm willing to pay for for a goddamn book. I, I 
I will only ever pay a max of $70 for a goddamn book. I will not pay more than that for a book. Even a book I will want to read for fictional purposes. If it goes above 70 bucks, it better have something attached to it. A figurine, artwork, something unique to make it worth that extra few dollars. But keep in mind, that's for a book that might cost $110. That better have something damn special connected to it. I will not buy a leathered... A le <laughs> I will not buy a, a hard copy bundle of paper for more than 70 bucks. I don't care what you print on that paper. I'm not buying something like that for more than 70 bucks unless there's something else there. Changing the hardcover That's not a that's not worth over $150 more. Someone explain to me what is in this rule book that that makes it worth like a chunk of silver or a chunk of gold. Do you know what I could buy for 210 fucking dollars? I could buy three weeks worth of food for that. Four if I ration it very, very carefully. I could buy a set of tires for that. Shitty tires. But tires for that. What about this fucking book is worth 210 goddamn dollars. Oh, the cover's been changed. It looks less interesting than its base variant. This is cool, at least. This has good artwork on the front. Sure, it's got the shitty logo, but it still looks like it has decent art. This is white with some random shit thrown on it. What am I missing? Someone, please tell me, what, what, what am I missing here? What am I not seeing through the veil of this website? What am I not seeing that makes this rule book worth 210 goddamn fucking dollars? This better have something more to it than just the rule book and a fancy new cover. And even if this is signed by some Games Workshop people, that doesn't magically up the price triple. There is so many other things I could buy for 210 goddamn dollars that is worth that in my life. This is not worth 210 dollars. And whoever bought this for 210 goddamn dollars, you are sheep. And you have the brains of sheep. Bah, bah, bah. That's all you're good for. Don't ever come at me in my comment section and try and dictate shit to me if you bought one of these for 210 goddamn dollars. Ever. Nothing you do for the rest of your life will undo this idiocy. Will undo this ridiculousness. This is $210 that you could have spent on anything else. And why did you spend this $210? For a game rule book, by the way. Which again, let's go back. Its base variant is $65. I still think that's a bit much for a rule book, but more reasonable. $65, cool art in the front, probably has all the cool core information you have. All the same shit, different cover. If you bought this, you're a fool. 
Meh, meh, meh. Go, go, go flock with go flock with the sheep. Let that let Games Workshop herd you over a cliff. You fucking idiots. L listen, this book. This is a book. And it's less. Less than the fucking Indominus box. Listen, I already think $199 is a lot. But at least, at least you're getting a ton of stuff to do. You have a ton of the Primaris, which I hate Primaris, but if you like that shit, fine. You're getting a ton of those to paint and put together and assemble. You're getting a ton of ne ne <laughs> Necrons to put together, assemble, and paint. And look, uh, if this picture is the entire box. This includes the goddamn rule book, I think, right there. Isn't that it? Well, let's see if this includes this. If this includes the base rule book, okay. Key features: an incredibly box set including everything you need to play exciting tabletop war. Okay, packed with sixty-one Citadel, sixty-one miniatures, sixty-one. From the Space Marines and Necrons. Includes an exclusive version of the Warhammer 40k core book and booklet featuring data sheets for all 18 units included in the box. It includes the core book. This is less than the fucking... I'm at a loss for words. I am genuinely at a loss for words. That rule book by itself was 210 fucking dollars. This is 199. That's still a lot. But at least look at what you're getting for it. Now, is this worth $199? That's debatable. But it's more, there's definitely, uh, there's definitely more of a place to argue that this is worth the price tag. Look at all you're getting for it. Including the fucking rule book. Someone explain to me. What, what am I missing? What am I not understanding? What, what am I missing? I, I, I can't, I can't process in my mind. Who can rationalize? Buying two hundred and ten dollars for a fucking rule book. Honestly, I'm baffled, but impressed. I'm impressed with the level of stupidity people have. I don't know what to say. I'll. I don't know, maybe I am missing something. I don't know. At this point, I won't even look down on somebody if they just tell if they just give me a rational reason why you would buy a rule book for more than a box set of miniatures. Which includes a rule book. Has all the same information. I don't understand. I do not understand. Fucking hell. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought in the, think in the cop se comment section below. And please, tell me tell me if I am missing something. Tell me, hey, hey Asmo, you're a fucking idiot. This is the reason why. There, there's, a, there's a portal in the book's, you know, index that allows you to go into, you know, the warp and shake hands with Korn, Slanesh, Zinch, and, <laughs> and <laughs> allows you to high-five the spirit of the Emperor on your way out. Something to make it worth 210 US dollars. Fucking <sighs> mess. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck that shit. Oh. I, I got nothing. See ya. I'm not even doing my normal intro. Fuck that. See ya.